Okay. Uh, Ms. Harvey, you wanted to raise something about uh, item number 74 with Dennis. We were going to look at the uh, CAD reports also, so we can do both of those things before we get to the next grouping of witnesses. That's that's correct, Judge, and we were waiting to see the um, the court's order. The court's order dealt with um, essentially the admission of lyrics. Um, it, our challenge to it's number twenty six, Dennis, item number seventy four. Right. Did the state find that order? You okay. We sent that order last night to the court. Okay. I didn't see it in my email this morning, but maybe it's there now. But what would it be a fair characterization um, to say that it's the admission of the lyrics? And the court ruled on the admission of the lyrics. This is a video, <clears throat> and it is a video essentially with one of our co defendants as the primary singer. Um, and I, I believe it has Mr. Nichols in the background. So my, my challenge is not to the, to the admission of the lyrics, okay. but to the admission of, of the video. And I think the video should be admitted against, uh, with all due respect, Mr. Jackson, but not admitted against Mr. Nichols. It's Mr. Jackson's video and Mr. Nichols is in the background. And that would be like saying, you know, um, if Gladys Knight and the Pips were singing, it would be admitting the actions of the Pips against Gladys Knight and that midnight train to Georgia. Not that I remember Who's that who song. here? Jackson is Gladys and <laughs> Nichols are the Pips. He's the, the Pips, yes. Mr. Nichols Shout out to the Pips. Pips. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I guess Mr. I don't know. Let me look at the video, but I would think that both Mr. Nichols okay, that was and actually the kind Pips of funny. are in the background voluntarily. Be before you look at the video, can I just make an observation and a comment? Um, my client's artistic expression. I want to put this in context. My client was arrested in 2005. The state has not until 2022, I guess, got around to trying this case. Uh -huh. um, Mr. Mr. Stillwell uh, was rapping and he dared to say in his rap song, I beat a murder rap, paid my lawyer 30 for that because a reasonable person would believe that he had been arrested for murder and beat it because he had been released and no one had tried him. I have no idea how this has become some sort of admission saying I beat a murder rap because he was arrested for murder and he did beat it. I have no idea the relevance of this. He's, he's just stating I've been arrested for murder, which is clearly true. Mm -hmm. um, and he beat it because he had, he was out on bond, so I have no idea why this is admissible against anyone. Um, I have no idea why it's relevant. I agree with Mr. Harvey that um, the fact that Mr. Nichols is in the background shouldn't come in either, but I don't believe that this should come in against my client. Um, I think that this whole ruling is out of left field, respectfully, um, and, and that's our stance on it. I just wanted to provide that context before you viewed the video, because that's what it is. It's years after he had been arrested for murder. When's the video from? I don't, I don't. 2019. We believe. 2019. So it's four years. The, the state says 2019. I'm not certain, but the, according to the state, it's four years after he'd been arrested. He had been released and um, no one had tried him on the murder, which he's innocent of. And he was merely stating, I beat a murder rap. So I don't know why any of this is coming in, but. Um, I, I appreciate Mr. Harvey's point that nothing came out of his client's mouth either. Yeah, it's not an assertion under 801 D2E. So it, I, don't, I don't see it coming in with regard to Mr. Nichols. And I adopt everything that Mr. Shark just said mm -hmm. as well. Is, interest either, Your Honor. 
it's not against any interest. It's not, it's not anything that's inculpatory. Talk into Sorry. the mic because I can't hear you back there. Good morning, Judge. Good morning. I'm, I'm not sure that it's against any interest. It's not anything that's uh, inculpatory. I think that might just be a statement by a party opponent. All right, but my client made no assertion. You know, I'm talking about as to um, Mr. Jackson himself. Your Honor, I would point the court's attention as well in response to Mr. Nichols' assertion um, to page eight and nine of the order. Okay, I still don't have the order in front of me, so send it to the court. Your Honor, I would say this point. It was sent at 447. Okay. I'm starting to think that some of y'all only come here because you want to watch uh, Matthew's talk. I'm starting to feel that kind of way, Shanna. I'm starting to feel that way. It's all good, though. Look at, look. Look at this. I'm feeling like that's the only reason y'all stop by now. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Harvey for throwing the pips in the Rico. The pips, Gladys Knight and the pips are now under Rico. That was hilarious. That was well done, though. Like, you got a whole, all of y'all, man, y'all are wild. That was a good one, though. I, I have to admit, I like the way he did that. And it was a little lighthearted. It was kind of fun. Okay, there we go. Thank you, then, Shannon. I'll, I'll take it. That is hilarious, though. I mean, Court, um, okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Send it to Ms. Percy. I've got it. Okay. I'm, she's she's sent it. Hey, Mandy, good morning to you, friend. Page eight and nine. You're welcome. Yeah, Brian Steele is not in the office today. I mean, he's in the office today. He's not in court. I'm not challenging you, really. Subsection G. Yes, Your Honor. Specifically, um, the adopt the the court finds that contrary. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm I hope not. I hope not. Subsection M. M also. Okay. I think the idea that rap or song boasting is literally like self incriminating confession of of crimes and sins. That is crazy to me. Like, wait, do you really believe? I've never thought that some of these people did right. some of the things they said they were doing. And then there's a section not, um, nine, Roman numeral nine. I, I just never would have thought that that was, I didn't think it was good, like to talk about shooting and killing and murdering. Never would have thought it was good. I just never thought that they were like self-incriminating testimonies like they had actually done that. I never, until now, I've never actually thought that they, you, would actually believe that they were doing that. I, I just didn't think that. Man, <laughs> thank you so much, and Joe. Finally, Good morning. I'm doing quite well. Thank you. Hey, Mandy, thank you so much. Hit that like button. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. She, she got her own interpretation of everything, though. Not just the law. She interprets lyrics. She interprets your thoughts, your memes, your emojis. You know, the fact that my hat, the, the A, the undercolor of the bill and my shirt all match. She's going to interpret that how she sees fit. That's weird to me. <laughs> I really hope and pray they stop letting her get away the with that. Murder case that Mr. Um, Stillwell Jackson was arrested on and then not tried on or whatever happened. Is that um, asserted in this? Yes, that's who Matthews is. Indictment. As an overt act, it's count two, and it's one of the overt acts. Oh, okay. So it's the Thomas murder. Yes. Okay. I'm just here. I'm just here so I don't get a Rico. That's it. That's the only reason I'm tapping in.
I'm just here so I won't get fined. Hey, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Well, it, it wasn't. With regard to the, so if we don't show the video, then it, I mean, the state intends for it to come in as against everybody. And there's no way for it to do that if the jury doesn't see everybody in the background. Well, <clears throat> if it comes in, I don't think it should come in against Mr. Nichols. It should come in against Mr. Stillwell. And I would again ask for a 105 instruction with regard to this. It is, it is, again, he, he, Mr. Nichols is just a person in the background. Who chose to be in the background. So y'all can argue the same thing you've argued to me, which is, okay, all this is is a song. That the state can argue what it wants to argue. The ruling, I don't see, again, any reason to revisit that. It, um. And with regard to the video itself, it would be the same rulings. Okay. So wow. what about the CAD calls? Or not CAD calls, CAD reports. Wild. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. It, is there like a general objection on all of these or is it gonna be different depending upon? Well, I will note that several of these calls involve people threatening Mr. Stillwell and him reaching out for help to stay alive because the system has placed him in a cage with people who are potentially trying to kill him. Um, I find something rather perverse about the system putting him in a cage in a situation where he needs to reach out to help to survive and avoid having a shank plunged into him and then us using that against him. Um, so that is my general objection to some of these quote unquote gang related um, statements. I think we all know about the danger risks and the uh, deaths and stabbings that have occurred at 901 Rice Street. So um, he's really in a no-win situation there. And I don't know, that just does not, on policy grounds, that doesn't seem like something that should be held against him. Um, he didn't ask to be put in that situation. Um, but other than that, Your Honor, there are different, there's different topics, there's different objections. Okay. Uh-oh, Woody Real Woody said he pleading the fifth on Monday for real. Okay, Woody Real Woody. Okay, I'm, hey, we're here to watch you, man. We support you, man. Uh, All right, so we're going to listen to the October 31st. Your Honor, we're bringing over a Bluetooth speaker. I'll give the court what is being said so that at least we can discuss okay. it. Um, Mr. Stilwell says when asked how he's doing that thug sent the lawyer down for me. I went and talked to him. He let me know he's behind me. Everything's good. Thug sent him down there so I can interview him to see if I want him. I feel like he can handle the case. Dang, don't don't help your friend out and okay. send him a lawyer because that's going to be part of Rico. Thug sent that lawyer down here for me. I went and talked to the lawyer. He let me know he's behind me. Everything's good. Thug sent him down there so I can interview him to see if I want him. I feel like he can handle the case. And if I want him, if I feel like he can't, then don't waste my time. He's talking like he can handle it. He's been working all types of stars and murder cases. All right, so the What's that okay. what I, I agree with the state's rendition of what that says. Right. Um, my objection is relevance 
and 403 specifically uh, confusion of the issues. Um, so to my knowledge, well, first of all, let me just say this. Mm -hmm. Factually, I think the state would acknowledge this. I did not represent Mr. Stillwell in 2015. I did not meet St Mr. Stillwell in 2015. I am not the lawyer that represented that I beat murder cases all the time and have represented all sorts of stars. I, so, factually, this creates an impression to a jury that, and I know I'm not a party to this case, but I am linked inextricably with my client. This creates an impression to the jury a reasonable deduction of the jury would be that he is talking about me, that Jeffrey Williams sent me, and I, and I, and let me just be clear, I'm, I have no information that Jeffrey Williams sent anyone, but Je Jeffrey Williams sent me to talk to Mr. Stillwell and that this is just a continuation of Mr. Williams sent a lawyer. I'm here representing Shannon Stillwell in 2024. And all that is completely false. Um, I know who represented Mr. Stillwell in 2015. I don't know if that's the individual that's being discussed, but it wasn't me. Um, furthermore, I don't know of any information or any evidence that Mr. Williams ever hired a lawyer on behalf of Mr. Stillwell. Um, or had any role in that. Um, I don't believe that to be true, but uh, the state has not provided any, any information. So this is misleading. It's confusing the issue. It creates the impression that Jeffrey Williams sent me current counsel and I'm continuing to work on behalf of Mr. Williams representing Mr. Stillwell. All that is false in the state. I would hope would agree that that is it, th that any impression, yeah, any impression sorry. that any impression that it was me um, would be misleading to the jury. So I, I there's I'm not sure what the relevance is, but certainly there's there's 403 issues that outweigh any uh, probative value in this in this piece of information. Hey, Your Honor, just to, um, to add a bit more context to that. Uh, certainly, we agree with everything that Mr. Shard has said. We're going to have an objection as well, of course. Uh, we don't believe that that conversation uh, that you're about to hear uh, is, number one, irrelevant, uh, that it advances any issue uh, specific in this case. But more importantly, um, and, and the state knows this, I'm, I'm sure they do, uh, there is no indication, um, and there, in fact, was not any attorney hired by Mr. Williams for Mr. Uh, Mr. Stillwell, Mr. Jackson. Um, and so any discussion um, that the court would hear, that the state would intend to introduce um, about Mr. Stillwell talking to someone else about Mr. Williams uh, sending an attorney down or whether he's going to hire an attorney or the fact that he did not hire an attorney for him. Um, I don't uh, see the relevance. And so um, that's just adding a little bit more context uh, um, for the court. All right. Thank you. I'll hear from the state. Yes, Your Honor. As far as the relevance goes, the fact that the alleged leader of the gang that Mr. Stilwell is a member of is securing for him representation for a murder that is alleged on this indictment that we allege that other members of this gang committed. And the fact that we allege that in part um, one of the ways that the gang protects its members is to pay bail for arrested um, gang members and enterprise members and to obtain and procure representation for them. The fact that Mr. Stilwell is relaying out of his own mouth that the alleged leader of YSL has sent someone down there. And the fact that this person has been, according to Mr. Stilwell, working with all types of stars and murder cases. And um, he is saying in one of his songs that he's talking about paying a lawyer, having beat a murder rap. I don't think anyone is going to get the impression that Mr. Sharp is the person and it, who represented him. And even if they did, it doesn't in any way impact the 403 analysis, which would some the Mr. Sharp bears the burden of showing that this information 
somehow or another is so substantially more prejudicial than probative as to permit its exclusion on 403 grounds. And he hasn't done that except to say that they might think that I'm the one, but Mr. Sharp's not the person or the proper inquiry around which to make that analysis. All right. Um, I mean, it doesn't actually say anything bad about any lawyers. Well, I'm, I'm not. Whether they think it's you or not, I, I don't see what that matters. I mean, if you want me to tell the jury that you want them to know that that wasn't about you because you didn't represent him in 2015, you know, we could think about that. But I, I mean, it's, it's definitely relevant evidence in that it makes the state's assertions um, more likely than they would be without that evidence. And um, would you, would you consider um, two things? I would like that instruction. Okay. And second, I, would you consider taking out the, the lawyer said he represents all stars and is beating all sorts of, I mean, that's just, lawyer puffery and i don't know i don't know why that was said but at the same time i don't know why that would come in Go ahead. so as it relates to mr sharp asserting or asking the court to assert or put before the jury evidence about him um i don't know that that would be appropriate but we can well, we'll it do it anyway <laughs> and as for whatever the lawyer said about him representing all types of stars and murder cases mm -hmm. the fact that mr stillwell made that assertion is the part that we believe is most relevant because that means that it was important to him and that's his belief he's telling this person um that he's saying he can handle it you know he's been working all types of stars and murder cases, that repetition of that part of whatever the conversation was is the part that we believe is most pertinent. Okay, and you're saying that then shows up in a music video? Or what did no. you say about that? With respect to the music video, I wanted the court's attention to, to the music video that we heard earlier. Just that he had beaten a murder rap. Okay. Yes. Pay my lawyer 30 for that to beat a murder we just i just beat a murder rap paid my lawyer 30 for that okay. you're under the being the, my sponsor above the law i'm sorry the, the problem is that there, there's nothing to indicate that there's any connection between um that particular lyric that we saw in that video and this conversation that mr stillwell is having with his significant other about um, an attorney coming to see him and 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 the important part to pardon my seat the, the important part, I think, uh, to add into the analysis is that, um, you know, Mr. Williams does not hire an attorney for Mr. Stillwell. And so there's been an association that's been shown already between Mr. Stillwell and Mr. Williams. And the fact of Mr. Stillwell having a conversation with his, his significant other, his girlfriend, about whether or not uh, a friend of his or an associate of his is going to assist him in getting an attorney doesn't prove anything. I know they can argue whatever they want to argue, but, but there's got to be something to indicate that that's a, a reasonable argument that they're discussing this or Mr. Stillwell is having this discussion in the context of the quote unquote gang leader uh, getting him an attorney as part of this overarching and ongoing conspiracy. And there's no evidence to indicate that. And then so for, for that reason, I, I, would, I would say that, again, I don't believe it's relevant at all. I think it does confuse the issue. Okay. Um, I'd ask that it, well, you got I understand to the objection. Um, it is admitted. I will give the instruction that it wasn't Mr. Shard, if you want to come up with something like that. Um, and otherwise, it comes in. What's the next one? Next. To address my concerns about the idea that this, the jury would be, think that the lawyer in question, um, is representing Mr. Stillwell currently, I'm probably going to include Mr. Botts in that too. It was neither oh, Mr. Sure. Shard or Mr. Botts. Okay. I would also ask that in that instruction that um, it be added that it was not Mr. Steele um, who represented 
uh, who came down okay. before the court to talk to Mr. How about Floyd? it wasn't any of the, <laughs> what, I mean, was it? I don't know who it was. Judge, I would, um, I would. Mr. Steele. No, no. Or myself. Sit down, love. Just we don't down. know that. And in fact, Judge, when we have in 2022 with the murder of, with respect to Mr. Steele, we don't. Okay. Who entered an appearance? if anyone, on Mr. Stilwell's behalf in the 2015 case. A gentleman by the name of Michael Bixon. Anybody the, else? No. Uh, at, at some point there was, and just to give full context, a lawyer was not, the state keeps arguing that Jeffrey Williams hired this lawyer. A lawyer was not hired for a significant amount of time. He was represented by a public defender. Okay. I believe Mr. Bixon was the, the gentleman who entered an appearance and is being discussed here. Okay. And your honor, that's not what we said. We just read what Mr. Stilwell said and that thug has sent a lawyer down there. We didn't say someone had entered an appearance. He just said he talked to him. So okay. we don't know who it was. And that was the point well, that I was- that doesn't get. matter because I'm not gonna say it wasn't Mr. Sharp that talked to Mr. Stilwell. I'm okay. gonna say it was none of these lawyers Rep who represented Mr. Stilwell in 2015. Or just get rid of so it because it's not Do you want necessary. it to be Sharp? Bot, sharp, bot, steel, or nobody here today? Nobody here today. Oh. An entry oh, of appearance. And if they're doing this now, you know they're going to do this when the jury comes back. So they're going to have this exact same problem next week or whenever they're, they're interviewing a witness. This is embarrassing.